What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Scooter Hut YouTube channel. I am Maddie Traveler and today we're at St. Kilda Skate Park. We're going to be filming a trick tutorial. If you guys do like the video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Also check out my channel, there will be a link in the description. I film and make videos every single day, so just, just make sure you do it. We're going to be doing a trick tutorial on my favorite trick, which is a whip front scooter. If you don't know what a whip front scooter is, I'll show you what it is. We have a scooter. Am I gonna do a whip? <laughs> <laughs> my oh, bad. You it's I, it wasn't mine. It's Colby's. Who cares? You guys are fast. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. So a whip front scooter is basically, as it says, a whip and a front scooter put together. So a front scooter is like this, and a tail whip is obviously like this. So what we do is we combine them, but we don't do it like this, and we don't do it like this. We do it like this. So. Basically, look, look, it's all in one. It's all just one motion, very similar to a buttercup, and it's actually very similar to do add to a buttercup as well. So we're gonna take you through what I think is to be the necessary steps to do this. All right, so the first step to learning a whip front scooter is you wanna have the motion down pat. So in, in these steps, it's gonna help you learn that motion, and then you're gonna be able to take it to the skate park, the quarter pipes, and the, the box jumps, and the Nitro Circus Mega Ramp. Um, all right, so first things first, what I love to do is grab my grips around here, okay? So we don't want to be grabbing them down here because that, that's just not going to happen. It's not going to work. And you don't want to be grabbing it out here because this trick is such a, you want to make the motion as small as you possibly can. You don't want to be out here, back up in space and Mars and, um, What's the, other, what's the other ones? Neptune and stuff like that. You don't want to be up there. You want to be down down here at St. Kilda Skate Park and you want to be just small, just like that, just like this. Boom, small. So if you're holding it out here, it's going to make it, it needs to be a, a wider motion because your wrist doesn't have that flexibility. So you want to keep it in low. You want to keep it close, close to you. Next thing will be your feet positioning when you take off to do the trick. Now, you do not want to be kicking this trick front foot. So what I mean by that is you don't want to use this here like this to kick it like that. Because you can see it doesn't really work, all right? Realistically, what the way you want to do it is you want to kick it with your back foot. So remember, choking up on the grips a little bit, back foot, and you want to be like this. Boom. See, it's nice and close into me. Very, boom. And it's within motion within range of me so I can keep my feet together to just get close and land on the scooter and land the trick and learn the trick so basically when we do this trick a lot of people try to force it too much and what happens when you try to force it too much is it can very often turn into just a front scooter like that and it won't do the whip with it all right and it or it can over rotate and it'll land like this or it'll land too straight you won't be able to land it so what you want to do you want to flick your wrist around, around, ready? Like, so when I do it, it's like around, boom. Oh, that was a bit bad. That gave me a bit of a shim whack. Without the scooter, generally what it is, is it's just like this. So you want to practice kind of doing like this. Now, your hand doesn't come off the scooter, but you release a bit of tension on your hand. So you don't want to grip on it super tight because it's not going to work. So you basically roll your hand around the scooter. So let's get a close up. We'll get a close up of the hand. So when we do it, it's like, you see how my wrist just rolls around. It doesn't, and there's no, it's loose enough, so it's not gonna get caught or anything like that. So it just rolls around the scooter, all right? So another step, another thing, another little tip, just just keep a, a looser grip when you're doing it. Not too loose, you don't wanna let go of your scooter because that's just, we don't wanna do that. We don't, we don't wanna do that. There's no, there's no warranty for with front scooters. All right. all right, another thing, basically like a good way to practice learning it, just the motion of it on flat ground is walking along like this, doing kind of like a can-can, putting your foot here and then kicking it with your back foot like that behind you. So really just giving it a, a good kick but as I said, don't be too forceful. You want to like let it fall underneath you, basically. If you do, if you're too forceful, as I said, it's going to over rotate, under rotate, or it just won't spin at all. So we don't want that at all. But the next thing to do, and my biggest advice is, if you want to do this trick, I wouldn't suggest trying it directly out of a quarter pipe, like a straight quarter pipe like this. I would say either try it in an air or try it over a bank to bank or out of a bank, a bank hip, anything like that, just because it is a lot easier that way. I promise that, I, I swear, ask anyone. Like, would you, let, let's show you one. So here we have a quarter pipe, a nice, it's like a three foot quarter pipe. It's a little bit mellow, but we'll do just a little test one for you guys, ready? Yeah. 
All right, so the main difference between doing it in a quarter pipe and over like a back But that being said, you want most of the force and most of the energy you put into it to be at the start of the motion and not all the way throughout. So you want to get that initial flick to be just the majority of what spins the, the whip front scooter when you're doing it. So we're going to go over the bank here and you can see if there's any difference you guys can see. It's just that I huck it a little bit harder, but still not too hard. You want to find that even balance. All right, so as you can see, the only real difference with that is that I kind of like, like put a little bit more effort into spinning it originally off the, the initial jump, but you can still see that I let it float throughout the air after I've put that little, the little, eh. Oh, Jeremy just did a front flip over this thing. It's not a front flip tutorial, stop it. We're doing whip fronts, go away. We're gonna get a couple of little little whip front tricks right now. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do a couple. Hope this tutorial has helped. Let's get some tricks. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, that little tutorial. I hope it helps you learn this trick. This is such an awesome trick and it is going to take a little bit of time to learn the motion. The, to be persistent with it, you have to you have to be persistent with it to get it. But follow those steps and I promise you guys you can learn it and then you can enjoy it as much as I enjoy it. If you guys want any other trick tutorials, make sure you leave a comment below on what you would like to see and who you would like to see teach you them. <coughs> Max Peters backy. Um anyway. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it and let us know what else you would like to see. Even if it's not a tutorial, just let us know. <sighs> see you guys in the next video.